السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں سیلف شہمیر صدیقی فرام کیزن اکیڈمی ویل ایز یو ہیو سین مائی انٹروڈکشن سیشن دس از ایز پر مائی پرامس دا فسٹ سیشن آفٹر دی انٹروڈکشن ویئر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک ٹو یو آل اباؤٹ واٹ از دی بیسک ریکوائرمنٹس اینڈ بیسک نیسیسٹیز اینڈ بیسک رولس آف دس سبجیکٹ ٹو ٹیک ان ٹو کنسیڈریشن ایز یو آل نو mathematics a subject which is very much admirable and at the same time it is applicable to many fields as and when you proceed in your life you will realize the importance of this subject this is a subject which is involved in almost all the fields whichever field you take up whether it is science or commerce later on it is the most important subject that is going to uh, play a very important role in your life today what is uh, needed in the class from my side to the students as advice is you have to follow some basic rules and basic requirements basic rules and basic requirements under the category of basic rules as we are online now three important rules are important here first and foremost thing is regularity please do watch each and every video that is uploaded and forwarded to you all the first thing is be regular to watch each and everything regularity is the first criteria second is sincerity be sincere in whatever you do and thirdly it is curiosity as you will be regular and sincere the third criteria which is curiosity will develop automatically you know uh, in mathematics the basic requirements as a student you all know the first and foremost thing that i demand from my students is tables they generally lack in tables we need students who are very strong in tables from 2 till 12 is more than enough if you are strong in these tables going from top to bottom or from bottom to top or the middle way also if you are strong in tables you can conquer the world of mathematics here today i am going to show one small glimpse one small hint one small topic which will open your minds to such an extent that you will start thinking yes this is what is mathematics we were not knowing also about it today's topic is you all have heard about hcf and lcm hope you all know it when i start asking to my students what is hcf and what is lcm they start telling to me sir hcf means highest common factor and lcm means lowest common multiple yes of course they are the full forms but still students are unaware of the fact and the meaning behind it we know the procedure we know the method we know the steps we know the all calculations but we don't know what we are doing itself let me show you one example suppose for instance find the hcf of 4 and 12 very small ones i am taking here find the hcf of 4 and 12 what is the procedure to find the hcf of 4 and 12 we follow some rules the first method is by inspection 4 can be written as 4 ones are 4 and 12 can be written as 4 threes are 12 when you look at these factors of 4 and 12 4 is common in both and you can also see this is the highest factor which is common in both so therefore we can come to conclusion that hcf of 4 and 12 is 4 this is by inspection this is the method but what is the meaning meaning is 4 is the only table in which 4 as well as 12 both appear simultaneously 
after 4 there is no table in which both the numbers appear together that is the meaning of hcf so well you can even easily look out it 4 and 12 both appears in 4 table after 4 impossible to find any number in which both appears fine this everybody has understood coming to lcm now lowest common multiple we have lot of misconception about it we don't know the meaning let me give an example find the lcm of 6 and say for example 8 let me take small example so that it is very clear to you the method i will talk to you how to find the lcm of 6 and 8 you generally take the lcm of 6 and 8 like this we take with prime factors 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 and then again we take from 3 3 1 is a 3 we take 4 down further we can take 2 2 2 is a 4 and finally 2 1 is a 2 so the lcm will be the multiple of all these factors 2 into 3 into 2 into 2 2 into 3 into 2 into 2 so 2 3 is a 6 6 2 is a 12 12 2 is a 24 so we have determined lcm this is 24 majority of the students i have asked they said yes sir we do know this is how we find and this is lcm but when i ask them what is the meaning like here we said that 4 is the highest common factor in both the tables 4 is the highest one which appears after 4 there is no table in which both appear simultaneously similarly what is the meaning in lcm they were just you know seeing each other faces the meaning behind it generally it is neglected in the primary level now you can understand the meaning of what is the meaning of lcm here the meaning is if i write down the table of 6 and the table of 8 6 3 is a 18 6 4 is a 24 6 5 is a 30 6 6 is a 36 6 7 is a 42 6 8 is a 48 6 9 is a 54 6 10 is a 60 8 1 is a 8, 8 2 is a 16, 8 3 is a 24, 8 4 is a 32, 8 5 is a 40, 8 6 is a 48, 8 7 is a 56, 8 8 is a 64, 8 9 is a 72 and 8 10 is a 80. If you see in these two tables, what are the numbers which are common in both, in both the common numbers that you can witness? You can see 24 and you can also further see 48. And if you go further, you will see much more factors. But among these two, which is the lowest which is common? Which is 24. So LCM is 24. This is the meaning. Meaning of LCM, the lowest common multiple. This is the lowest. It is common. And it is the multiple in 6 and 8. The method is this. But the meaning behind it is this. Which generally students have neglected in their primary levels to understand. So here in Kaizen Academy, we are exploring those all important steps which are missed out in your primary levels to highlight it, to understand it. And by this example, you will be able to understand how mathematics has to be learned. Mathematics is not just a formula is put on the board and then there are several problems upon it and then solving it. You have to have an understanding. Students, when I ask them what is needed in mathematics to learn, they say to me, Sir, in mathematics to learn, we need concentration, we need focus, we need determination, we need practice. Yes, they have their own roles. But what is the key? The key to learn mathematics is keep it simple. Just listen what is being told and understand and then practice three points to be noted first you have to listen to whatever is explained understand the concept and then go ahead by practicing several examples upon it and then you will be master upon it so I think this too will give an idea of what actually mathematics is now later on in my lectures when we go ahead with this you will see to it what all the chapters you have in 10 standard you have four chapters in arithmetic four chapters in algebra and then followed by seven chapters in geometry of course we should salute them because geometry as such is not so easy for you all but when you understand the concept 
not even algebra not even arithmetic not even the geometry anything in mathematics is easy try to explore and you will be amazed in the next video when i will share you the shortcuts the hints the techniques the easiest way of calculating two numbers to multiply to divide to understand the basic divisibility rules you will be really attracted towards those shortcuts because that will definitely help you and boost your confidence as well as it saves lot of time in the examination so be sure to visit the next video which is the third episode make sure that you don't miss out it because once you see you will definitely fall in love with mathematics thank you very much